I'm not massively hopeful, but let's give it a go. Bearing in mind it's only Monday, I've done all right. I'm gonna save everything for the end though. Uh, little item, I just spat everywhere. <laughs> uh, little item for personal use. The cutest little shoes ever. So we got um, Isabella, her feet measured properly on Saturday just gone, and she's a five and a half F. And F is like the, the common width, which is amazing. These are size six. They cost me two pounds. So um, brownie points from the wife, always nice. Two pound, absolute bargain. And I've got another pair of shoes, uh, which were, oh. Oh, hang on. I can't tell what that says. But these were brand new shoes, 95 pounds, but they're imperfect. So <laughs> the imperfect price was 95 pounds. And the fact that the stick is still inside means they haven't been worn. Um, imperfect, so the perfect retail price was 145 pounds for these shoes. Um, the, the imperfect price is 95. I just bought them pre-owned. I think I know what the, the issue was as well. It's that that scuff there, because these have not been used. They've, they have not seen the light of day and I've just got them for eight pounds. <laughs> Absolute bargain. As promised, we have the Jurassic World Spinosaurus. Cost 25, sold it for 74.99, including free delivery, going via GSP to Columbia. All it does really is, is that, and a little bit of, little bit of that. To be honest, for any sort of dinosaur fan, it is a really cool figure. Um, tail is detachable. The new one, it isn't, so it's a lot longer. This one, one of the reasons why I like it so much. Down here is a box that is the maximum royal male size. Royal male size for a small parcel. As you can see, there's just enough room to get some packing on the bottom, around, and on top. Absolutely beautiful. For $24.99 plus postage, we have sold the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles Tops uh, sticker cards that came in bubblegum packs. So uh, probably owes me about a tenner or so from the trading card lot. Which was, it was one of those that I bought in a bundle. I've got honestly no idea how much it owes me. But it, um, yeah, the, the colouring on Donatello has gone a little bit. He's looking a little bit more like Raphael there. Especially with, with that band there looking very red. The rest of them do look kind of pinky purpley. But yeah, twenty four ninety nine. Thank you very much. Metallica t shirt, nineteen ninety nine. Free postage owes me three pound. Amplified, size large. Lovely jubbly. So the Charizard card has sold again. So this originally was an auction, and it sold in the auction for one hundred twelve pounds just over a week ago now. And I, I waited a couple of days to give them a few days grace, and nothing came through. Sent a message asking if they were intending to pay or should I cancel? They said they'll pay in a couple of days. Those couple of days have been and gone. So I relisted it for £120 plus £199 postage and it sold within three days for £120 plus £199 postage. So this is going, uh, basically it's in a penny sleeve and a top loader. It's got the little tab to pull the card out, which is amazing. This will go in a bubble envelope and then into a dvd sized cardboard box and it's going via the gsp as well i'm not actually checked to see where in the world it's going we'll have a look we'll have a look and it's going to france lovely jubby 120 pounds for a card that was 30 pounds less than three years ago and my little mate dog meat has sold already for 12.99 plus postage owes me 50p if he was brand new and sealed I'm probably looking at about double that so considering he's got a little mark above his eye um i'm hoping he's going to a good home because he is pretty damn cute on the n64 we have sold quake which is the the cart only so it's for 9.99 including free delivery i'm fairly certain that is the exact size for a royal mail large letter so i will double check but i'm fairly sure it will fit at least I hope it does. From one of the first trading card hauls, we've sold the uh, the Rugrats sticker album and stickers. $49.99, including free delivery. It will go as a large letter quite comfortably. And it's off to Edinburgh. So this Gengar playing card just sold for $74.99, including free delivery, going via the GSP to America. I was the, the first one in our group to actually let everyone know about this. I bought, 
I think I'm five silver decks of the Lugia ones for about 80 to 100 pounds each by the time we paid for import fees. And I've just sold one card for 74.99. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more than just a one card in each deck. So the first one of many, I have a few that are uh, ready to be sent off to PSA, but with the, the backs, as you can see with this one, it's quite off sensor. So to get one card sold for $74.99, I'm a very happy boy indeed. And I think I was the first one to, I don't, I don't even think, I know I was the one to introduce this particular uh, object to the group. So if you want to be uh, in the know, you've got to pay to be a member. I'm joking, that's, that's not the case. It's just a case of, um, I, I got there quickly and I let a select few know. And then before you know it, we've all made a good few quid and have some awesome cards for collections as well. So the wife has left me again. She's a meal for two this time. Um, it means I'm just either paying her back for the, the night itself that I had, because, uh, or oh, by the way, I've got burritos, as you do, uh, favorite meal when she's out, to be fair. Um, I, I think I still owe her for the Logan Paul live stream where I'll be, we were up until like 4.30 in the morning. Um, and I think I already owe her for a night out in between lockdowns at a pub when the curfew was 10 o'clock, but we drank like stupid amounts. It was ridiculous. So I'm not sure yet if I'm accumulating brownie points for when we meet up with the, the waffle guys, or I meet up with the waffle guys, or whether I'm purely paying her back. But yeah, I have two Tex-Mex beef burritos. Um, literally just put a little in down um, so I can have something to eat and have a shower. I've got packaged one more item, it's that Gengar card, and then that's it, I've done all of my packaging. And he buries me about 300 quid, which is even better. So yeah, time to put a telly on and wait for the, uh, the oven to warm up. So it's Friday morning, no it's not, it's definitely Wednesday. Um, I lost my, my debit card. Turns out I left it in Tesco's Friday last week, I managed to pick it up yesterday, which is an absolute godsend because they normally destroy cards after 72 hours. So I was very, very lucky there. Um, what else has happened? Not a lot. <laughs> um, there was something and I've completely forgotten what it was. Ah, videos uploading and stuff. The, the hour long one took forever. My internet was not being nice at all. Uh, uploading an hour long video in 4K was just, it just took forever. So it appears the new upload schedule is gonna be, Monday will be something geeky, Tuesday is gonna be absolutely nothing. And then Wednesday will be the hour long, Thursday will then be the, the charity shop, and then Friday will be the car boot. So um, yeah, I didn't quite take into consideration how, how long it would be potentially um, to upload an hour long 4K video. 58 minutes, 58 minutes. I've literally just done the thumbnails this morning. Um, so it's currently quarter to eight. I'm gonna go and get myself a, a Costa, take a load of parcels over to uh, the post office. And then uh, I've got to dick around for quite a while because my first job isn't until nine, 9.30. I think it's 9.30 because the lady is on morphine. So she needs to, a bit more time to get up and ready. But yeah, uh, the day has just begun and it rained last night, which is weird because it felt like it's not rained in a long time and then suddenly it started raining again. But okay, hey ho, off to work. For those of you who are wondering, um, I've gone unhealthy again. I've gone for a bacon bat from Costa. I'm just tired. Someone was up at 1.30 in the morning. Tried putting socks on her because her feet was getting cold. She used to wear bloody sleeping bags, right? Sorry, I say she, my daughter, used to wear sleeping bags at night. In two weeks ago, she just started to outright refuse it and just started just like, ripping it off. So she's obviously getting cold feet during the night because she wriggles so much. A duvet just doesn't work. So we, I tried putting socks on her last night. Failed miserably. So i um, got to try something else now. Just don't know what. Any suggestions from anyone else who's had this problem? Um, please, please, please help, because <laughs> I'm tired. So you join me on a Thursday being a fat sod. It's currently lunchtime, um, and I've got some chicken to eat. Some chicken covered in barbecue sauce. So, three days ago, um, Thatcher Joe 
aka Joe Sugg, aka um, Zoella's brother, uh, of dancing, no, what's the other one? Should it come dancing fame? Three days ago on his channel with over 3 million subscribers, has a video currently with only 88,000 views. He went to a car boot. That's so nice. So are we about to see an influx of like proper YouTubers going to car boot sales? I don't know where Joe lives. I believe he's in London. But he didn't do any recording of the boot sale itself, which to be fair, is completely understandable because it's it can be a lot. So um, yeah, I'm very interested to see what happens. But I'm also 80% sure he's commented on someone's video or their Instagram post about car boot sales. So he's obviously been watching for a while. He's been watching some people. We picked up Sega, uh, sorry, Sonic on a Sega Mega Drive and an old board game, I can't remember their name now. It's like, oh, I might get demonetized for that. I might have to blank that out. Either way, we got some cool stuff, which is awesome to see, to see more people go out and just have a look to see what's that a car boot. Although it does sort of mean that we're gonna have more competition. But yeah, it's really interesting to see what will happen this summer. Because summer's not here yet. I wanna see if he does it again. I think he will. I think he may have got that bug of the hunt, which is, I think it's something that we all have. Anyone who goes to car boots anyway. So yeah, uh, hopefully we'll see him out there and um, I don't know, doing some more pickups because that would be nice to see. Anyway, I want to watch a video while I'm eating. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. And this is how bedtime is going. <laughs> Trying to do handstands. <laughs> <laughs> such a weirdo. So apparently my meal deal that I showed last week was not good enough. This is going to be even worse. We have a cheese and pickle sandwich. I love pickle. Ah! Dropped it. Uh, followed by some Dairyly Dunkers. The drink is Oh, there's no big Evian. So it's that, that's the front, Evian. And then as a snack, I've got a Turkish Delight because I like Turkish Delight. So yeah, shove that up your pipe and smoke it. So I've already listed most of what I picked up this week. I've listed everything but the binoculars. Basically, I listed the shoes and I've done a load of GameCube games as well. And some bits in my lockup, which were listed and eBay being eBay, decided to say no. They're not listed anymore and then just not saying anything. So I've had a massive sort out in the in one of the lockups. I've uh, removed about six tubs, like large boxes, uh, full of rubbish to take to a storage unit. Not to a storage unit, sorry, to an auction house. And I asked if I could take it tomorrow. He said, probably not the best idea if you've got a few boxes. Um, so they're going on Tuesday. It wasn't going to be Monday, but I forgot it's a bank holiday. So Tuesday, they're going to the auction house. I'm getting the boxes back then continuing to have a sort out because there's a few bits that have creeped into the house and they've not made their way back out of the house yet. So I want to get all the boxes back and then have, so I can put everything in like a count what I've got box wise for the height and then do some sort of a, of a map on the ground as to the way to, to best do it in order to, to utilize the most amount of space if that makes sense. So uh, that's uh, the one of the other storage units, not the one where the racking in it, this one's just purely boxes. So it's a good six boxes of just rubbish, not rubbish, tat. It's just tat that either I've never got round to listing or it's tat that was listed and is now unlisted. So it's just, just going. Um, a few bits which I thought were listed and turned out not to be listed, I've relisted at an inflated price because it turns out they've increased in price uh, since I bought them two years ago, possibly three years ago. 
there was in a box and it's not a Nintendo box. So I've got a box of sealed Nintendo products and everything was in there. And I've, I've gone through, I've checked and there's like one item on my shop uh, with Zelda in it. It's like, okay, that's not right. And that, yeah, they've increased in price a little bit. So that's all listed. So the, the shoes came to just shy of 300 pounds, I think. Then the RA pickup was another 110 um, at a cost of 30. However, I don't think it'll go for 110, although it could be if it's international. Um, then I've done a load of GameCube games. So I've probably listed about five, 600 quid worth of stuff. It's only 5 p.m. Friday afternoon. I'm in the office and I've just been doing that for the last two hours or so because uh, I've done all of my nine to five work. So you're trying to work out everything. <laughs> it, I, it's the, I think it's been a, a lot of neglect on my part of just... I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's been and gone a few times and I, I probably should have done it a long time ago. So I want to get as much out as possible, uh, preferably the, the bigger, bulkier stuff, and just have a a clean slate. The, the Monzo account is looking fairly healthy as it is, so not really too fussed um, about getting mega bucks for it. The The amount of trading cards I've got to go through and the potential returns on those is very, very high. And the amount of space they take up is very, very low. So in, in relation to that, it's a lot more cost effective to do to go down the trading card route for now. It's not something I'm going to stay in inevitably, like uh, indefinitely. But right now, it makes sense because, as I say, I've got a, a large amount of stock that's worth a lot of money. And most of it is fitting in a shoebox. Whereas at the moment I'm using spare room, well, half of the spare room, uh, conservatory, two garages and a storage unit or one garage and two storage units, depending on how you want to look at it. But that's, that's a lot of space. Uh, admittedly, quite a bit of that is personal collecting stuff as well, which I just don't want to get rid of for when I have the room in my house to display things how I want to. But we are supposed to be having a quote done to, to board the loft at some point. It's supposed to be the end of this month, but today is the 30th of April. So we we'll chase that up today. If we can get that done, that would then allow me to put noggins between the rafters, which was a point on the, uh, on the house survey when we bought the house a couple of years ago. Uh, but having the loft fully boarded, Make sure there's still airflow, which is not a problem because that's straightforward. A lot of people put insulation right to the edge of the property. You're not supposed to do that. If you leave it a few inches, preferably a half foot, maybe a full foot, if you don't want to get right down in the corner, you need to let the building breathe. So by the time I do that, uh, I can I can put insulation up everywhere, allow the building to breathe. I'll then have a another room with the size of the footprint of the house to then put things in. Um, obviously excluding space for Christmas decorations and more of Isabella's toys and clothes. So but by the time that's done and it's fully boarded, oh, and the, the massive water storage tank up there as well, we've got an old back boiler and I refuse to, to go over to a, a combi because again, that would end up going in the loft and my, my parents have got a combi, which is it's new. And they've had far more problems than, than we ever had. Something's going on outside, I've got no idea what. Um, so, yeah, we've had a back boiler in our last two houses. I can count on zero hands the amount of problems we've had. I know it's not the most efficient, uh, but unless someone's going to pay me and keep on paying me to have uh, have a, a combi boiler, it ain't bloody happening. So... Monday we're off to St. Neots to go and see my brother-in-law. So fingers crossed I'll be able to go and look at a couple of charity shops on the way or while we're over there. He's on his own and he is part of our bubble. Uh, although I presume since lockdown has been restricted, he's actually been able to go out and see people again, which I would imagine makes a huge amount of difference. So that's on the plan for Monday as far as I'm aware. Sunday, I'm just going to the car boot in the morning. That is it. And I think uh, the wife and the Litton's going out. And then Saturday, no idea, we've not planned anything. Fingers crossed, it's nothing. But chances are, that's not going to be the case. So, yeah. All systems are go. I'm just trying to, 
I, I do want to reduce the amount of crap that I buy. And I mean, lit, not literal crap, but the the lower return stuff. Although I say it, and I've said it so many times, but then you, you're, once you're out there and you see something and it's only like a quiz, like, oh yeah, I know I can get a tenner for that. It's not worth it. I want to do what Lee does and a minimum of £20 per item. But then the DVDs are easy to list and when they start flying out, they pay for the shop fees. So maybe maybe over time, maybe I'll stop buying DVDs, although I bought some last week. Maybe I'll stop now buying DVDs and unless they're high returns, don't get me wrong, some box sets are like 50, 60, 70 pounds. So I want to go down the 20 plus route per item. I say that, I'll change my mind in two days when I get to the car boot. This sold within an hour of listing. Bought it last week for maybe a couple of quid. Sold it for £30, including free delivery. However, in hindsight, it should have been plus delivery. How? I don't care. It's gone. I listed it an hour ago. It's gone already. Could have got some more money. Oh, well, live and learn. I kind of completely forgot this arrived. So it's from Amazon, as you may have guessed. This arrived, bear in mind it's now Friday. I think it arrived Friday of last week. And I just never got around to opening it. But a massive thank you to Sam Smell Stuff for pointing me in the right direction of this. But we have the same item twice. So I'm only gonna open up one of them. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that bad boy. So this is the 2013 vinyl album, completely brand new and sealed. Paid about £25. Pound. So 2013, uh, it's got oh, it's a little bit of wear. Do I get the other one out or not? I want to keep one sealed. Um, I want to put one in a frame basically, and, and have it. And I wanted to sell this one to then pay for the other one. Uh, the Game of Love within uh, Get Lucky, Touch, Motherboard, Beyond. Basically, it's a decent little vinyl album and with them just breaking up as well. Are they broken up or just separated? I don't know. But yeah, massive thank you to uh, to Sam for pointing me in the right direction of this. Basically, he I think he unboxed it in one of our video chats. And this is done, it's done the round. I've seen it popping up on a lot of people's Ebays, actually, of people that I follow. So yeah, that is wicked. So we went to Blenheim Palace and it pretty much either rained or hailstoned the whole time we were there. It's currently 2.30, uh, I'm outside Curry's PC World and I have a delivery incoming. My daughter is asleep in the back, looking rather cute. And then, uh, yeah, I've got this delivery coming and I'll show you what it is in a moment. I got Pokemon Snap, not just one. I got two. I'm such a scalper. Uh, no, they're, one is, a, is to play, the one that's in best condition, I want to keep sealed because they've not done a Pokemon Snap game for over 20 years. The last one was either released in 1999 or 2000. So I don't even know why I'm wearing this. The guy's been and gone. Um, so yeah, I want to keep one brand new and sealed because I quite like the artwork on the front, to be fair, as well. I've seen three clips of people playing this. So we're going to, as I say, St. Neots on Monday, as I did all of the driving today and most of the pram pushing I'm hoping I've got myself some brownie points to potentially play the switch on the way there and all the way back. So yeah, looking forward to this. It's the weekend, it's payday. Let's go through the sales. We've sold pound one, 14 99 including free delivery. Bought it last week and it owes me, ooh, about 50 pence. On the Wii, we've sold mighty number nine for five pounds plus shipping. Owes me a pound. Boy, last year, possibly the year before at a car boot sale. We have sold FIFA 15 on the Xbox 360 for £2.86, including free delivery. 
careful everyone this one's a little bit of a bolo and it is a def jam fight for new york this was bought last week for i think it was supposed to have been a quid and i got it as part of a bundle with the xbox thingy complete off to denmark oh god i think it was 19.99 if not more than that bad it was 29.99 free delivery going to denmark via the gsp thank you very much 22.99 plus one pound shipping for this absolutely gorgeous mu promo card uh yeah it just doesn't fit the collection so unfortunately it's being shipped off we are in the key rings and magnets and god knows what else we sold i've got something on my mouth by the way so that's why i sound like an absolute idiot two of these 11.98 free postage lovely job please large lesser nice and easy thank you kindly it is currently 5 29 a.m woke up before the alarm again didn't sleep very well uh, I think it's because my wife took up most of the bed and there was an elbow digging in my back most of the night. So um, I feel particularly rough this morning. First things first, coffee, obviously. Here is the tiny of snippets from the Sunday car boot. 120 pounds for this Philips portable compact displayer. Paid a tenner. Well, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. As I say, the two years are sort of blurring into one. Now it's going via GSP to China. So it's currently Sunday afternoon, um, just after lunchtime, and our seven day total as of right now is 743 pounds and 72 pence. Our 31 day total is up 3.2%, and that's about it. Um, mm, mediocre again, really, isn't it? Having a massive sort out, I don't know if I've said this or not, uh, but there is a massive sort out underway so we can get rid of a load of old stock, get it out, start fresh, crack on. Right. That's it. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. If you don't, I will kick you in your shins.